Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Instruments of Destruction. So the dev of this got in contact with me and said do you want to check it out? It's not out yet, there's a demo coming around October and I think the early access release is sort of early next year. Uh, but my god it's absolutely incredible. Okay so let's get into it. So none of this stuff is set in stone yet but there's a load of different levels. So we'll just start on the easy ones. Libra. And at the moment there's sort of two different ways to play each level. There's normal mode which gives you some sort of objectives you've got to complete and there's just sandbox mode. Uh, we'll just do normal to start just to get, just to get a little taster of what this game is about. Alright so essentially you start off with this. You've got the island that we could see before. You can see there's a building in front of us and then top left there's a few objectives uh, but essentially as you probably guessed from the name of the game we've got to build something to completely annihilate this place. So to start off we got this. This is just our little cab that allows us to drive. Now then we've got all sorts of different pieces. We've got wheels, we've got tracks, we've got thrusters, frames, moving parts, the fun stuff, the even more fun stuff, and even rope, which I'm super excited about. Not enough building games have rope in them. Oh, yeah, okay, right. Let's get started. So what do, we, what do we want to start with? We got just our cab. I think we want to build something pretty heavy. So we'll start with the frame split. These are like sort of different sort of connectors. So we probably want to go with the, the six-way heavy, which is sort of like a cube, I guess, or even the four-way shield. Maybe we can put that on the back. And once you attach that, you can see up here, there's all different ways you can rotate it. So this cycle one, this is which way round it's connected. We probably want it like that. And then the angle is good for that. You can also change colors of these. Maybe our color scheme, we want it rather than orange. We want to go with red with a yellow hat. Yeah, nice bit of red. All right, that's probably long enough for the body. Yeah, I probably want to make it a little bit wider, actually. So I'll use these four-way parts to do that. So you can only sort of move the camera this direction. So if you want to build underneath, you come up here and you can just flip. <laughs> I hope there's no one in that, because uh, that's quite a vicious flip. Oh <laughs> yeah, so we can build underneath, so we'll probably do that. All right, so we've got a fairly sturdy base now. So let's think about adding some movement so we can come onto the wheels. And as we're trying to use four or fewer parts from the category wheel, we're not going to use actual wheels. We're going to come over here. So these are treads. We've got a small tread, a normal tread, and a giant tread. So we're going giant on this. So that looks pretty sweet. So you can see we got the arrow there to tell us what we're going to move. So one on either side. This is looking pretty good already, right? And now for the destruction part. I'm very intrigued by the wrecking ball. So what I'm thinking, we look at these moving parts. So this one? Yeah, this one. So we've got... Okay, so let's try a fast swivel. And I want to bung that on the top. So I'm actually going to replace this piece with a six-wayer. So now you can see we've got a node on the top. Right, so now we've got our sort of base ready. I've sort of smoothed out all the sides and stuff. So we've just got this node poking out the top. You can see it's a node because it's like it's got a color on it. And when you hover over it, you can see where your next part's going to go. We're going to come into this one, the motion. And we're going to use a fast swivel. So the arrow tells you what direction it goes. And you can change the controls. We want left and right on our keyboard to spin that around. You can also play about with different modes. You've got normal. You can toggle it. You can have it slide up and down. We'll just keep on normal for now. All right, so then on top of this, we're going to use this sort of piece, which is called a beam. We're going to make this a gray color. I like that you can like group different color combinations. So if you want like a multi-tone. You see our main color scheme is sort of red and yellow, which is this one. Uh, but for this arm, we're going to make it gray. Before we get too far, I want another joint there. So I think I want this one, a power arm. That sounds like exactly what we need. We're going to set that to up and down. So that will bend 90 degrees. I think either direction. Not entirely sure. Let's just check. Yeah, that bends 90 degrees. Awesome. So on here, we're going to add our beams. We don't want too many, just three, I think. And then we're going to add a chain. So yes, this game has a chain, which is absolutely incredible incredible. And then on the end of our chain, you guessed it, we're putting the wrecking ball. Oh, baby. <laughs> right, so we haven't quite beaten our bonus requirements. We've used more than 30 parts, but I think it's going to be good. All right, so my thinking here is we just spin this around. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think it's got enough weight. All right, so my thinking here is we drive towards the building. We've got to smash through the fence, but then we wind this up. All right, wait for it. Ready? Oh, not enough power. It destroys the trees, okay. All right, so I did a bit of tweaking because that was a disaster. Now we've got this, which proper allows a bit of a boosh into the ground. Look at the speed we can get spinning this around. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to keep that going and we're going to head towards the building and get ready for some insane physics. Ready? Boosh! Oh, yes. Oh, look at it. Shatter. All right, and if we whip up and then down... Boosh. Look at it destroyed. It is wicked. I really like the like sort of tilt shift graphics as well. You can't you can actually turn these off, I saw. But uh, we are leaving them on for sure. Look at this. All right, so we've done pretty well. We've got 67%. So you can see the, the bonus objectives. There are some barrels to destroy. I think that's one over there in red. So we'll head towards it. Try and flatten it. Ready? Oh, okay. Okay, we'll move, we'll move forward slightly. All right, ready? Boosh. 
Oh, I love the explosions. And then we've got a few more buildings down this end of the island. We'll uh, wind her up. Oh no, careful, careful, careful. Okay, I found out if you fall in the sea, it's game over. <laughs> so we've got to be a bit careful here. Oh no, no. <laughs> Come on. Balls. But on the plus side, it means we get to watch it again. It's ready. Let's wind her up. Oh yes, and look at the building coming down. Oh, smashing the hell out of it. The one in the background's coming down. Oh, <laughs> annihilated <laughs> into the sea. Just utter carnage. All right, let's, let's try and get the barrel again. Ready? Oh, I just missed it. All right, we'll smash the barrel. Ready? Boosh. Love it. And then we'll just wind this up again. Oh, trees got destroyed. <laughs> All right, well, that was a lot of fun. Let's go to the next level. So this time we're going to head to Orion, which is a medium map. And so the game starts with your previous vehicle on there. So we're going to use this, but we're going to we're going to change it up a bit. So I think we're going to delete all of that carnage on top. And this time we're going to try out some of these other things. So we got a chainsaw and a circular saw. I think we'll, we'll go for the circular saws first. It sort of feels like Robot Wars, like making the most insane robots you can. You might have to try a hypnodisc later, but let's try that. So E to turn on the blades and we just drive towards these walls. I don't know if the swords will do anything. They're sort of grinding away. They're a bit useless. Maybe once we're through the walls. Yeah, it's doing some damage. It is doing some damage, working its way through. Oh, look at that. Straight in there. Love it. You can sort of see it working its way through. Oh, the building's come down on top of me. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm literally moving a building on top of me. There's... <laughs> So much carnage. All right, let's head over to this other building. I feel like I probably should have mounted these horizontally. There seems to be lots of like vertical beams. All right, ready? The final bit. It's on top of my head. All right, that was a bit terrible. I'm sort of thinking, what if we get rid of these? Or what if we rotate them that way? So that's that. And I, I sort of want to try out, like, what is this? A charge launcher. We put charge launchers there. And then this one is a cannon. Right, I am intrigued to see what that does. Right, so let's try out the cannons. Oh, not bad. Not bad. What about the charge cannons? Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so they're quite heavy, but they seem to do a lot of damage. So let's move in and then we'll sort of fire. Every oh, wow. You can really go to town. Oh, <laughs> holy. <laughs> Yes. Whoa. Okay, so we're heading to Delphinus now. So it looks like there's a bit more sort of terrain in the way. There's like, there's a bit of sea. There's like a mountain over there. And we start on this hill. So our current vehicle is not going to work. We literally cannot even move. Okay. Oh, and if you actually look at the objectives, it's not a destruction one. We've got to reach the marker without destroying everything. Ah. Okay, so looking up there, we got like a little narrow path. We're going to have to build something a little bit narrow. Okay. All right, so for this, I've possibly made the cutest vehicle you can make in here. It's just a tiny little <laughs> tiny little track thing and I, I gave it a giant um one of those so we'll head down here i don't really know where we're going but this thing's got some speed so through the gap <laughs> it loves a drift right we gotta try and avoid the ruins oops <laughs> oh god <laughs> come on we can fit through it we can fit through it there we go there we go and then if we can fit through here without destroying yes we did. oh no he's coming down he's coming down we destroyed it behind us let's quickly go on to the next level before it says we failed all right and now we're on to hercules it's a hard island so you'll destroy 60 percent of the building but it looks like there's mines everywhere and ruins to not destroy all right so let's go scout out the level so we got this bit oh then we got a bridge nice gotta love a bridge and right, then we got some uphill and a couple of buildings surrounded by mines and another bridge oh, and then we've got to get up here which even my little <laughs> Even my poor little cute guy is struggling with. Right, okay. Right, so this is one of the showcase vehicles. Basically, they're just a load of, like, remade vehicles by the dev already. It looks really cool. I think firepower might be a bit weak, though. Uh, but we're just going to see, can it actually make it up these hills? It should do, because it's got tracks. Yeah, the old quad tank is nice indeed. And then I assume, yeah, we can just absolutely lace the place. Uh, however, I think we can improve on this with the power of engineering. Yep, yeah, this should do nicely. This should do nicely. Let's add a load of cannons. Yeah, this is how you make a tank. This is how you make a tank. <laughs> All right, let's try this out now. Do we still have the movement? I know we're going to be a bit heavier. Just a little bit heavier. But uh, hopefully the bridge will still hold us. Yep, looking good. Bridge was designed by a proper engineer. Good work. All right, so we'll get up to this ledge. Yep, we can spin this around. Oh, yes. Right, ready? This could be a disaster. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's destroy this one over here. Oh, beautiful. The building has come down. The little hut is destroyed. The recoil has sort of moved my tank off the ledge. But that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, no. We flipped over. We flipped over. Right, let's keep shooting and get back. All right, ready? Ready? Yes. 
We're back up. We're back up. <laughs> uh, we've only destroyed 13% of the roof. <laughs> There's so much carnage here. Oh no, we're tangled in the power lines. Oh, we literally destroyed it. <laughs> does that count as a ruin? I don't think it does. Wow, we really made a mess. Oh, look, the bridge actually has a hole in it. Thankfully, with our tracks, we were easily able to traverse. Look at all the ammunition that's just lying around everywhere. <laughs> oh, that over there, that needs destroying. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> right, back on our feet. And we just got the last building to destroy, which is up there. The trouble is, now I sort of want to find out, is there a limit to how many cannons we can put on a tank? <laughs> right, and I think we'll find out on the last level. Scorpius. So my idea here is sort of just to stay where we are and completely lace the place. All right, so up here, there's this mirror option. And this allows you to sort of mirror everything. Uh, very, very useful if you want to start building some big mirrored vehicles. Oh, so we've got a maximum parts reached. It's not unlimited. Dev, you gotta fix that. I wanna stress my computer. All right, so this is about as big as you can get for a tank. Let's press fire and see how far we actually go flying. Boosh. <laughs> All right, can we do some damage from here? Whoa. All right, we are teetering. We might have to use our tank power to move us. Let's just spin around. This was the old GTA trick. Whoa, look, we're flying. <laughs> straight into the building. <laughs> okay, that, that was actually wicked. I love that trying to turn now is just my track spinning on top. All right, this time we'll move first rather than trying to go over the edge. We'll get to high ground. Nice. Right, so now building in front of me, you have committed the sin of architecture. So yeah, goodbye. Oh, one hit kill. So there's another building way in the top corner. I wonder if we can actually reach that from here. Probably not. But, uh, let's see. Nah, not really. Okay, so we've got to get closer. Which means we've got to use a bridge. I'm going to try and keep this balanced. I probably need to move the old lamppost out of the way. There we go. <laughs> right, across the bridge, which is very strong. I like it. And I think once again, sorry building, you have committed architecture. Boosh. Oh no. <laughs> no. I had too much power. I destroyed my own bridge. Right, this time we'll go across the bridge and then we'll destroy that building. Uh, easier said than done. Okay, this time I want to go with something a little bit more sensible. Uh, I wanted to try and see if I could build some sort of artillery. So we've got two options. I think we've got, like, we can use these pivots, which should give us some adjustable movement. Or, to be honest, we could just use these ones, which give us, like, a 45 degree. All right, so now we've got that sort of thing. Let's shove on the front all of our cannons. So they're all sort of pointing up now. Look at that. It looks wicked, right? The only trouble is if I shoot too far... Um, well, we shoot too far. I cannot see where that goes at all. Let's just lace the entire level and we'll see if anything gets destroyed. <laughs> oh, something did. Oh yeah, we did a bit of damage to that building. The trouble is, can't zoom out far enough to see. <laughs> All right, so we're back in this first level. We're going to completely start over. We're going to check out another one of the showcase vehicles. I think we're going to try out the Ultra Magnet. Just because it's Ultra, why wouldn't you? Okay, we got that. Looks pretty standard. It's got four tracks, a little thing on the front, and then a big old arm with a chain on top. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to flip it up. What? <laughs> What is going on down there? It doesn't like that. Let's flip back over. Okay, Ultra Magnet. What do you do? So we can move that forward and backwards, left and right. Okay. What does G and F do? Oh. Oh, what the hell? That's really cool, actually. So not only does the arm get longer, the tracks get wider. We're staying at full length. All right, so the question is, what does the magnet do? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so if I hold, if I press E, it turns the magnet on. If I press it again, it drops everything. Oh, God. And it's dropped the building. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've turned the magnet on again. We can raise it up. Oh, wow. Right, now we've got everything attached. Let's freaking launch it into this building. Let go. Boosh! <laughs> wow, it, it made a mess. It sure did make a mess. All right, let's spin this around then. Oh, it doesn't quite go fast enough, in my opinion. Oh, smack it! Oh, <laughs> it got destroyed. Oh, I love that it's trying to pick up even more of it. Oh, I've just launched that. Okay, mag magnet's pretty fun. Not gonna lie. I want to try playing with the rope like we saw at the start. So we've got a bungee base, a cable base, a rope base, and a wire base. Wow. Let's load my original thing and we'll we'll start with this. I sort of want to like build a frame 
and maybe fling my vehicle. Is that even a thing? All right, so if we mirror from here on, what if we do that? How wide do we need to go? Another one. And then we want a bend like that one. And let's flip this because it's easier to build like that. So we'll go up. I am very intrigued as to how this is going to work. All right, so we got that there. So if we then make this wider, I'm a bit worried I'm running out of parts now as well. I may have to make the actual vehicle bit smaller. And then can we build these to join? I assume we can. Some games it gets a bit annoying. No, that's good. That is excellent. Sweet. We are nearly out of parts though. There we go. So we're going to have to go and delete some of these. I don't think I actually want like a big old vehicle in there. So I'm going to delete a lot of that. All right, let's carry on building. Right, first off, let's flip that again and let's just see does it hold because I'm not convinced. Oh my god, it does. It does. Yes. Okay, so I need I need a sort of pivot there. So is is there I don't remember seeing a joint actually. So up here, we don't want that just to be a three-way thing. We actually want something that can rotate. Swivel 90, power swivel, fast swivel. I want something that can swivel, like, just freely. Just like a ball joint. Wait, is that what we want? A socket? Could I do two of them next to each other? Yeah, maybe. Can I put a socket there and there and then put those back in? I don't... I needed, like, a small... Oh, there you go. A half beam. Right, so I think that should rotate now. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. We are guessing that this is going to be magical. So what I want to do, I saw down here in flight. Yes, there is flight. We got thrusters and blasters. I think we want a thruster. Okay, so it can't go on the back, but it can go on the sides. Instead, we'll put them there. Yeah, and strength needs to be full strength. We want carnage. So that's going to spin around. And then I want to replace that with something to let go. Maybe I could do back-to-back -back magnets. Is that gonna work? <laughs> so let's play and just see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Alright, magnets are on. Okay, so let's let's restart and we'll turn on the magnet straight away. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know if two magnets like stick to each other. Maybe they would repel. Alright, the magnets are on. I don't know if they're sticking. Let's Whoa, no, they're not sticking. Turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> Okay, what if we lose the magnet on there? Put a flat cover on there. That might be metal. Does that stick? No. Okay, magnet doesn't stick to itself. Confirmed. So we can't use it as a weapon, I don't think. But let's just see if this works. Because my original aim was to uh, power this on. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> the hinge doesn't go the whole way around. Okay, the hinge doesn't go the whole way around. But I reckon we can fix that. Oh, no, we can't. I was thinking we could put two, but they'll never reset, will they? I'll tell you what we could do. We could literally just put loads of sockets. Because that should get us a good few rotations. Oh, it's got it's got a bit of a spring to it, these sockets. All right, ready? Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we need a bit more weight to the bottom. Um, but I quite like the idea of using boosters. So unfortunately, no detaching. We're going to have to go back what we had. Oh, actually, let's see how the rope works first. So if we quickly delete all those, I just want to see what the rope does. So bungee base, rope base. Why? Let's, let's try bungee. So bungee from there to the... Oh, we've made a bungee cord. Oh, wow. That's sick. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. It died. Oh, man. There is so much potential for this game. I could spend, like, days playing this. This is amazing. i tell you what I want to do. I've decided. I have decided what I'm doing. All right, let's delete all of that. Let's delete the bungee rope. All right, so we'll grab these. We'll rotate them that way. Then we're going to build in this direction, just temporarily. And we're going to delete the cab. Oh, we can't delete the cab. How can we move the cab? I want a new cab. I want to replace a cab. There, there you go. We've, we've moved it. Nice. All right, then we delete all of this stuff down here. We don't want that. We don't want any of that. All right, and then on the back of here, I want to six way all right so we've got that which is pretty good i'm gonna stick that on the edge and then we're gonna get a load of thrust oh no thrusters can't go on the end bollocks okay we can just delete we can delete those top ones and delete those bottom ones yeah that's all good still that is all good right so grab the thrusters they will go on there but facing that way now we have a lot of a lot of thrust trouble this is gonna bloody move isn't it we might have to weight the bottom of this up i was gonna come to the bungee base so that to there yes that's better than that to there and then we've got 20 parts where we can just make this base a lot heavier. All right, so we want these, the ultra heavies, and I think we'll just literally delete everything, replace it all with ultra heavy. We don't want this to move at all. Oh, this looks bloody awesome. <laughs> right, now we've got our 20 parts to try and add some more mass 
So I'm thinking if we delete that, we can replace it with like a six-way heavy. That sounds good. And then ultra heavy blocks across there. All right, that's the maximum parts. The question is, can we stretch the bungee far enough to hit the building? Oh, we also need to turn the strength of the engines up. I nearly forgot that. All right, ready? Let's play engines, engines. Oh, no. Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Ready? And off. Sod it. Boosh. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. All right, one other thing. If I just delete all of this, which is very satisfying in its own little way. What if we were to just make a rocket just like that? Right, let's launch this. Oops, I forgot what button it was. I forgot what button it was. All right, and we're off. See ya. <laughs> yeah, really enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more. I sort of want to go like the Robot Wars route. Sort of make some really cool, like, less gun sort of levels. More like, I quite like the Wrecking Ball. And there's, there's a load of other stuff that we didn't get to try out. So if you want to see more of this game, please boost your like button. But otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and bridges. Bye.